the truth is that you have five bodies. And truth is that whatever you have in the physical body, the same pattern you will find in your etheric body. If a person has a heart problem, you will be able to find out the same heart problem in your etheric body. If there is a valve which is not functioning properly, you'll be able to make out in your heart the valve is not functioning properly. And not only that, if you will focus, you'll be able to tell me how much blood is flowing and how much blood is not flowing. If anybody is having a blockage in the artery, as a Shivyok Shambhavi Sadhak, you'll be able to, you will be telling me that which artery is blocked and how much it is blocked. So you become a human CT scan machine, CAT scan. Instantly, and as you practice this, your third body, the astral body, the Manumai Kosha, will start awakening. And a stage will come where you will not have to physically find out, but by looking at somebody, you will start getting the glimpse. But again, let me tell you, this is a science. This is a science. It's not a God-man's godly. Actually, God himself is a science. We misuse the name of God by telling ourselves, I am a God-man. It's a very sad thing. Actually, everyone is a God-man, but a Shiva Yogi has been able to awaken the God from within, whereas he is helping others to awaken the God from within. And this you are, I am going to connect you with the cosmic mind. From the individual mind, I am going to connect with your cosmic mind. In our individual mind, we can play tricks and get away with it. We can tell lies in a sweet-coated manner and get away with it. We can make mistakes and tell a lie in a sweet-coated manner. Oh my God, I was very nice, but I was... But with the cosmic mind, the universe understands truth is truth, false is false. No sweet coating. So if anybody tries to manipulate, he will find zup zup zup, all the faculties, they close again. He is, the sadhak is ready to do Siddha healing. <laughs> All is gone with the wind. So he'll have to start again. So, be very humble. So even if you're going to give healing, but start, stop, never, never start giving predictions or start giving, hey, you, you, there's a problem in your heart. Remember, as a thumb rule, because as you will be helping people, the people will develop faith in you. Generally, now a lot of people, they have faith in all Shiva Yogis. So if you talk negative, oh, I see a problem in you. As the people have faith in you, they will believe and their belief will be very strong. And the moment you declare you have this problem, he will not be able to come out of his problem. 
and he will not be able to come out of the problem because he has faith in you as a Shiv Yogi. So if he is not been able to come out of his problem, then who is karmically responsible for it? Not he himself, the one who has spoken, he is responsible because he created that thought. So I will request you that the thumb rule of a Shiva Yoga therapist is that he will never talk negative about anybody. 